Welcome back to FedBiz Exchange. I'm Michelle Brown, your coach and your mentor. Today, I want to talk to you guys about selling your products and your supplies to DLA on dibs. DLA is DOD's Defense Logistics Agency, and they have their own bid board where you can do business with them directly. So let's get into it. So who should do business with DLA? Number one, any business that sells or wants to sell a product in the categories I will discuss. But let me note that DLA buys everything for all of the military branches. Number two, if you are a distributor, a retailer, a store owner, or suppliers of any types of products, you should consider doing business with DLA. And last but not least, manufacturers and developers of products should definitely do business with DLA. Who is Defense Logistics Agency, DLA? DLA is a sub-agency of the Department of Defense. It's the nation's combatant logistics support agency. DLA actually manages the procurement and the supply chain for the Army, the Marine Corps, the Navy, the Air Force, the Space Force, the Coast Guard, 11 combatant commands, and other federal agencies and partners in different countries. So DLA is supplying all of the products and the supplies for all of the military bases, all of the military forces all over the world. So why shouldn't you be one of those suppliers? What does DLA buy? Before I go into the six major purchasing areas for DLA, let me just tell you, I won my first three contracts for a client with DLA, one of the best and most challenging experiences I've had in government contracting because I had never done business with DLA before. Some of the other areas, but not DLA. And DLA is very different. It is uh, a lot of processes, but it's easy to bid once you learn your niche. And my first three contracts with DLA went from small, 35,000, all the way up to 200,000 within a 90-day period. So one of the things about DLA is that you have lots and lots and lots of opportunities to win. You can start small, get comfortable. Once you learn how to do business with them, you can do business with any of the other agencies because the other agencies will be a breeze. DLA, you do have a few categories to learn. You've got to find your niche, what your product is, whatever that is that you want to sell. You can learn what you want to sell to DLA and you're off and running. You can start small. You can go for the bigger ones. You can go even bigger. So this is very exciting. Once you learn DLA, you will have thousands and thousands of opportunities on a daily basis, way more than FBO.gov way more specific and strategic. So if you like a challenge and you want to learn something new, you should start looking into working with DLA. Now these are the six major categories where you can start working with DLA. So you have aviation, if you make airplane parts, a lot of manufacturers do, small business manufacturers, they don't know how to connect with DLA, but DIBS is the way to start. You have DLA Energy. Yes, this is about petroleum, but they also buy smaller things like heating oils and lubricants. You have uh, DLA Land and Maritime Management. They buy parts for different things. You have um, DLA Disposition Services. They manage reutilization and recycling. This is one of the only departments with DLA where you would work with them on a service. So if you are a recycler or you are a, um, a trash company where you pick up trash and dispose of things, you want to work with deposition services. Okay. And then you have DLA distribution. They are another service type environment, 
but they manage all of the storage and the packing and the transportation of managed items. So when you receive uh, an award, like I did my first few times, I had to have things delivered and packaged up and sent to number five, the DLA distribution center. Okay. Last but not least, we have DLA troop support. Now I left them for last because they buy a lot of different categories of things. They buy food, lots of food nationwide. They buy clothing and textile supplies. So if you are a manufacturer or a distributor of clothing, or you are a retailer of clothing, you need to look in to doing business with DLA troop support. Medical, that would be me. I've already done some things with them on medical. Uh, construction and equipment. They buy construction equipment and they also have construction jobs. So if you're interested in working with DLA because you do construction or you sell equipment, that's the place to go. Also, industrial hardware. That's where I won my first bolt and paint contracts. So that's industrial hardware. It has a lot of different categories under industrial hardware. So what is DIBS? DIBS is the way you do business with Defense Logistics. It is a bid board that allows you to get to all of the thousands and thousands of opportunities on a daily basis to work with DLA. So every day, contracting officers are posting thousands of opportunities in those different categories, all types of products and supplies that they need to supply to all of the different military bases and Air Force units. So if you want to do business with DLA, you have to learn how to do business through the bid board. You go out there and you respond to every one of the opportunities that you like. It's much easier and faster than FBO.gov. There's not a lot of paperwork. You do need to understand how to use it, but it is an amazing opportunity and you can win quickly if you are consistent with your bidding. That's what DIBS is and that's how you connect. So if you want to start selling the DLA, your products and your supplies, follow me to the next video, how to start selling and winning contracts with DLA.